Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for April the 23rd, 2018. Watchman on the Wall, William, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today, another one of those days that uh, date setters have planned for the Rapture. And you guys know my feeling every single day could be the day, but no man knows the day or the hour. So there's no point in making uh, bold predictions because it just causes strife and division and we know that the author of confusion is Satan. He wants us to be divided. He wants Christians to be fighting amongst each other and the main thing uh, that he can do is get us to fight over the blessed hope and if we are constantly arguing and uh you know lashing out at one another you know we're not being the salt and the light we're not loving one another and these date settings has caused this this new divide in the body of Christ and so I say that uh, we must love one another and um, and try to not be lashing out at one another at these times. So many of us are trying our best to keep it together through so much trials and tribulations in our lives. And, you know, some people who are heartbroken, lost, lonely, you know, they will gravitate towards these date setters because it gives them um, that that hope because their faith in the rapture is is where we all believe, but it goes to another level and and I I hope that there's many who are coming to this channel who, if you are feeling disappointed because, uh, you know, the date setters has set today for whatever reason and you're feeling heartbroken, I want you to know that this place, I don't set dates, but I'm here to comfort you whenever you are heartbroken from another date set. And hopefully you will wean yourself off of the date setting machine that these people will just constantly they will not learn from their past lessons and they just pump out date sets after date sets after date sets and and it's it's really it's really hurtful and i know that um some people will come on here and say that it's okay i like to um watch the date setters and I, and it's not, it's not uh, a problem for me and that's cool. But for the people that it is a problem for, for the, the mentally ill, for the people who are very, um, lonely and lost and, and hurting, it is a real big deal. So we must pray for, for all of the saints and we must pray for, the people who are going to attack us on our channels, even though we don't do date sets and um, we believe that we are to be the salt and light, to share the gospel, to do what we can and stand in the gap and pray. And, and that's what our calling is. Um, people don't understand. They'll just see videos that say rapture in it and they'll attack. And so I want to say to all of those people, um, please seek the Lord and his peace and, and, uh, not don't attack the brethren. Uh, it's only hurting yourself because we're all part of the body of Christ. And if you attack another brother or sister, you're attacking the Lord. And, the Holy Spirit dwells in all of us. And, you know, if you say you hate your brother, the, the Spirit of the Lord is not in you. And and I think that in these heightened times that, um, 
you know, there are true Holy Spirit filled Christians that get really upset and passionate about date setting. And I can empathize with that. I truly can because I, I really don't like it, but that doesn't give me the right to go on, uh, Steve Fletcher's channel, for example, and curse him out and say a bunch of rude things to him, even though I absolutely disagree with all the things that he he puts out there. Um, you know, I'm not going to thumbs down his video. I'm not going to be that person because that's not what the Lord has called me to do. He has called me to love one another and and to... Uh, love people as myself and to love God with all my heart, soul, and spirit. And yes, there is going to be some of you that say that we are to, to rebuke and to exhort with all long suffering and, and contend for the faith. And, and I believe that is a very important thing too but if you privately message someone if you privately ask someone and they continue to um not listen or heed then there comes a point where you have to just stop because it's not all you're doing is going down this endless rabbit hole where you're zeroed in on one person i remember watching uh one lady who would be going after this one truck driver guy constantly, constantly, constantly. And all of her videos are centered around this guy and just attacking him and his false doctrine. And, and it becomes almost this obsession where she can't stop focusing on this guy who is clearly not going to change his his false doctrine and his um his uh ways he's not going to and it's um it's like her own personal crusade against this guy and you know we can't we can't allow our peace to be disturbed and to just try and in because i'm telling you for every um honest Christian trying to do their best on here, there's 10 or 20 false ones out there. And if your mission is to, to just expose false teachings, you would have no life in Christ. You would, you would not be doing anything but, um, going after, uh, these people. And so we must, lay these things at the Lord's feet. We must do what we can, but when all we can do is exhausted and we're at a certain point and it's disturbing our peace, that's when we must give it to the Lord and know that He is the righteous judge. He knows whose are His and whose are not. And from there, we try and to love one another and and be as loving as we possibly can um, to all the people that are in our lives. And, and, and uh, you know, it's easier said than done sometimes, but um, we must. Uh, I want to read First John 4, 7, and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love, love is of God. And for every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God, and he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And so that's extremely important scripture for today, because there's going to be a lot of people who are not going to be loving. They're going to be attacking and being very mean and 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 hard on the brothers and sisters who are trying to do their best to um, to teach and to share and to encourage. And um, so this is the scripture I really want you guys to um, 
take heed of if you are one of these people who are feeling they're doing the right thing by attacking rapture channels. And for all of you who do not believe in a pre-trip rapture or the rapture at all, and you're coming on to channels and being uh, unloving and attacking, then I say again, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So that's my message for today. Love one another, pray for one another, and and uh, try your best in these final hours to show the heart of Christ, to show your true love for him by being caring and doing all you can. And if a brother and sister is not going to listen, then walk away, dust your feet off and carry on and, uh, you know, take your peace with you and, uh, that's all you can do, you know. So that's going to do it for today's message. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day in the Lord. And if I don't see you in the clouds tonight, I'll have another message for you very soon. Peace be with you.